States go to incredible lengths to infiltrate resistance movements and plant undercover agents in our scenes, such as the disgusting case of Mark Kennedy, aka Mark Stone, who was outed in London in 2010 after spending eight years as a mole in the European anarchist and radical environmental movements, six of which he spent in a long-term relationship with one of the activists he was spying on. But as paranoia-inducing as these cases may be, they are exceptions to the rule. Not only are these operations incredibly expensive, but it takes a rare breed of psycho to be able to effectively maintain the sort of double life required to carry out these long-term infiltrations. Your average cop tends to have a much harder time blending in. Black sleeves, it's gotta be hot, huh? <laughs> Be a little cool if we had some drugs. <laughs> a much more common and cost-effective method of gathering intelligence on political dissidents is through the use of informants and collaborators, or, as they're more commonly known, snitches. 